when I lost my job and I didn't know if I would be able to afford to live with for me and my children and looking at possibly being homeless and not knowing where we would sleep, where the kids would be able to just feel feel comfort and feel safe. And I couldn't provide for my family for the first time. And I felt helpless. And is it's just one of the hardest things I've ever had to look at in my life. My wife and I, one morning, were just celebrating getting up and we were laughing and having a good time. When I heard her cry out, I can't breathe. Unfortunately, uh, my wife did not survive. She passed away. When you lose your best friend, when you lose your heart, I'm the only one there. Everything that we had planned, we had planned for together. So it's frightening. Kathy is diagnosed with a general developmental delay. She stayed at home all the time. She was in charge of watching her nieces and nephews and doing laundry and cooking dinner and cleaning the house. So she didn't have a lot of opportunities to get out of the house. She was very depressed. She was always worried that she was doing something wrong. One morning I woke up, I was paralyzed from my waist down, and I got scared because I thought, what if I can't move at all? The thought of being paralyzed terrified me because I've always been so active, and I could not imagine sitting around in a scooter and probably falling or not getting stuck somewhere. You have to tell yourself, you can either sit there and feel sorry for yourself, or you got to get going. I needed help and luckily Jewish Family Services was there. Just was very friendly and welcoming and I, I felt like they really wanted to understand how I got into the situation and provide any type of assistance that they could to help me out. The Family Safety Net, they helped with rent assistance and the food bank and helping us prepare for interviews and readiness skills. Just regaining my confidence and knowing that my ability was good enough to get out there and find a position that I, I wanted and I'm excited to start. I needed as much support as I could get. I just wanted grief counseling as an individual who lost their partner. And so JFS was able to provide that for me. We have worked together through a number of issues. Rabbi Baskin, when he does the group counseling, he has a way of diffusing pain and suffering with his gentle demeanor and his smile will light up a room. Having people that you can trust and respect and encourage, uh, there's no money amount you can put to them. I feel very, very lucky and very grateful that they've come into my life. Kathy started in our pre-vocational program and she actually graduated into our greenhouse. Kathy designs our peace planter. She selects the pots, fills them with dirt, selects the plants, and then they do delivery to mostly ARC thrift stores. When she first came to us, she was reserved and since come out of her shell and developed some long-standing relationships with not only clients but other staff members here. Kathy lives in what we call a host home, which the host home provider helps Kathy with residential skills, getting up, cooking breakfast, getting ready for work, and then seeing that she gets on her bus for work every day. I love being independent, and I love working at Shalom. Thank you supporting Shalom for helping us. I am so grateful for the Jewish Family Service for being here in this building. I couldn't go into expensive senior places. And when I came in here, Allison was here. She got me hooked up with everything. She did Medicare, Medicaid. She got me on food stamps. They take us on field trips, exercise class. They get, they call the doctor. They get hold of anybody I need. They're there. It's just neat to have outside family members here. They give us hope. We feel we're connected. That's amazing. Jewish Family Service reaches out to everybody. 
That's, a, that's an incredible thing. I applaud everybody who does the hard work to make that possible. Thank you. Kathy has absolutely thrived. We are making a big difference here at Shalom Denver and Jewish Family Service of Colorado. I want to thank you for your care and your love that you show complete strangers. It's okay to need help. There's people out there that care about me that may not even know me. Jewish Family Service, they're connecting with people and giving them a real chance and real hope for the future.